Hey, what's going on guys? Calix Gaming here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own custom character in Roblox Studio. It would be helpful if you're trying to make a game um, kind of like Piggy or something. Um, let's say, or like um, if you know Kitty, that's like kind of like a Piggy, but it's more like kiddish, I guess, version. But um, so I'm going to show you how to um, make a ca custom character and also how to um, what is it like animate it it's easy and simple um, I hope this tutorial helps you and if it does please leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell but without further ado let's jump right into the video um, let's just get at, uh, I'm gonna just be making a little breathing animation it's really simple and really easy but um okay so he, I put it as test, so let's just get this out of here. Um, so make your character first. So I'm gonna try to make like a quick character. I highly recommend you make, you try to make like an R15 character because um, it would be more helpful if you're trying to create like a human-ish character. If you haven't seen my video on how to make your character look like a specific something then um i have a stream i made it i made a stream about it um on my channel and if you haven't seen it and you want to know how to like become a character then just watch that video it's an easy tutorial you're gonna have to do is oh my gosh um like if you want to group it all already you can do that just do this and then control g um but i like to just click or not group it yet until um after like i do it because then i'm gonna have to go into the group and then just look for each one of them and since every single one is named part i can't really look it up quickly but um and if you have it on group you can just click on it so we're just gonna have this as left hand I personally prefer T pose because I find it the easiest um, way to like just separate the rest of the body. So um, then you can group it now if you haven't grouped it already. And I'm just gonna name him Block Boy. Point. Oh wait. Point. I mean. 1.0 okay so um after that you're going to want to go and get a humanoid um if you don't then you're not going to be able to animate it and um it's gonna be all messy and stuff so what oh i forgot the head um hit. okay there go. so now that you have that you're gonna want to get the torso the upper torso 
or the lower torso, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to choose the lower torso for now. Um, then just put it here, you can size it down like really, really small. And then um, I'm going to put it in transparent because we're not going to need it. Um, if you all know how to um, make like shrink the properties because like I can't shrink it at all I don't know what happened but if any of you out there that are watching this video know how to shrink it please let me know so I can maybe I can give you a shout out or something or yeah I will give you a shout out just tell me how to do it so this is important guys this is really important okay you gotta put it this in capitalize you're not all in capitalized, just the H is for human oid, like that, like almost exactly like that. And then, um, control or sorry, not control, um, capital root, and then um, capital part humanoid root part. So then, after that, just drag it into your block boy or whatever whatever you have it as and open up your properties again click on block boy or whatever your name is whatever you named it then humanoid root part click on that one put primary part click on it then humanoid root part so um after that now you, all you need to do is rig it so um click the humanoid root part first and then the lower torso so now those two are connected so then put the lower torso to the upper torso and it's kind of basically like that so you go from the like upper torso to the upper right arm or something oh wait i put okay wait um okay but don't put it to the leg unless you have an r6 character then yeah you can put it at the leg it's just like one torso um so upper torso put it to the upper arm so i'm just gonna put it at the left upper arm and then where's the right upper arm right upper arm right there okay so then after that um go click on the right upper arm or whatever or your left upper arm doesn't matter and then go to your lower arm and then just keep going like that from lower arm to hand and then that's it it should be rigged but wait you can't animate it fully just yet now you need to use this custom character creator by the way guys use moon animator i find it as the best one and if you're gonna say oh look you could just put new join don't put new join i do not recommend it if you're gonna be doing animations because it's gonna have motor um motor 06 or something like that um and those are not helpful they don't work that well but um okay so you just move this over here and you might be saying what how is his thing going so fast like how is um i mean his dot going so like smoothly well you put k if you want to rotate it and stuff and then you push l if you want to move it um slower and um, so just put all of these like where the elbows and stuff meet um, and then all the way to the torso and just move them all right there Them. I had to take that quick cough. So um, then after you're done, you just press finish, and you should be ready, hopefully. So let's go into animation editor. 
guys, um, here's what I re recommend. If you're gonna be doing like those animations, like high school animation thing, whatever, um, then I recommend Moon Animator because it's more for that kind of stuff. But if you're trying to import it into a game, then I recommend Animation Editor because it's simple and it's really easy to use. So let me bring this over here. Um, so select rig and it should work. So I'm just gonna put this as test 1.0, okay? And um, let's try this. Let me move this a little bit over here so it's not in the way. So let's see if it works. Okay, that's moving properly. Perfect. Um, guys, by the way, please don't copy this character. This is a cool dude, guys. And it's created by me, so... No copyrights for it. Okay, the head. Is it working properly? Yes, it is. Okay, so... What about this? Yep, it's moving properly. Now, if, if you're... Okay. Something is up right here. If there's some joints that are, like, moving other parts, then I recommend it... Um, delete the weld like there's a weld right here in the left foot and I found one right now a few seconds ago in the right foot and um, it just doesn't it um, um, it just doesn't let it work properly and stuff but um like quickly um, look through the body slot and stuff like that to make sure that there is no weld and um, if there isn't then really good good for you Okay, so we made this really quick animation thing right here. Let's see. Okay, there we go. It's working, guys. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna lower the FPS. That looks kind of better, but I'm going to lower it to, let's try six frames. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Now let's move the head along with it like that. That looks good, guys. So um, you can also have it on loop. So I'm going to have, and you can change it's priority to idle or whatever so I'm gonna have it on loop like this and um, that's how you make your own character guys you, this character block boy 1.0 is made by me all by myself you cannot rename it and take it as your own this guy is all mine you can make your own blocky character or whatever but um and then you might notice that there's this animate saves um, folder whatever like group in here so um, that's the automatic save stuff so um, if you're gonna save it like save as I'm gonna put it as new oh wait let me see something okay you can export it I'm gonna export it as um, block boy idle and um yeah, that's it's as simple as that, guys. Um, so maybe I can um, have it just like you know. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna put it as I don't know. I, can, I don't believe it should affect the animation. Let me check real quick. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't affect it. So um, that's how you create your own character guys.